Hey guys, and welcome back to part 5 of the making of of my Sally costume. Today, the focus is on weathering and making the dress look wicked. In my previous video, we went around all of the edges here on the sleeves with a fray preventing glue. But now I'm taking a watered down black acrylic paint mixed with a little bit of red or green blue, depending on which sleeve I was working on, and added that around the edges just to create a little bit more interest and make it look way cooler. Once I was done making the edges look very distressed, I pinned them back in place onto the dress. Personally, I like to fold up the material kind of like an accordion before I actually pin it or sew it, because then it just adds a little bit more movement for the rest of it. And then I took some thread and carefully sewed them on, making sure not to sew through to the front. I had tried the dress on at this point and decided to go ahead and add a halter with a thin black ribbon, just to add a little bit more support. And once I sewed the ribbon on really well, I went over with that uh, fray preventing glue just to secure everything in place. I also hemmed the edges of the cups as well before moving on to the bottom of the skirt. For this bottom of the skirt design, I wanted to keep with theme, so I basically did the exact same thing as I did with the sleeves. And there's Artie again, always wanting to explore. This part took quite a while just because, you know, it's a full skirt, it's not just a quick little sleeve. So toss on your favorite Halloween movie and get to work. And then you can see here that the lining underneath kind of peeks through as well as the tool. So I just decided to hem both of those eventually, about a good six inches or so. And then moving up to the bodice, I took my black fabric marker, which actually worked pretty well. And I started to add some of the iconic designs Sally has on her dress. So I started with the swirls first. Gotta have a good Tim Burton swirl. So once I did the initial swirl, I went back and made some of the lines a little bit thicker, a little bit more vibrant. Then moving down to one of the hip panels, I added some stripes. This one is gonna have some black polka dots in a bit. All of the gray patches have these little tiny polka dots on them. I made sure to stagger them out quite well just so they didn't look too intense or anything. I also forgot to add this little patch on, so I did that with some scrap material. And then I cut out some black giant polka dots with some scrap material and sewed that on with black thread as well. And now time for the most tedious thing in your life. I had bought some black cording and I found a darning needle, I believe. Just a plastic needle that had a big enough eye to fit the cording through. This probably took at least six hours to do, like at least. I did it over the course of maybe three days and I needed the help of my little baby scissors because the material was just too thick to just poke a hole. And my biggest tip is to make sure that the cording isn't too tight so it doesn't bunch up the material or anything. And I just made sure to knot the back of each strand just so that they wouldn't fall out or anything. And now time to weather the rest of the dress. So I did pretty much the same method as the sleeves but just with black and gray and a little bit of white acrylic paint. I made sure to water it down a lot and I took a feathery, not like a, a hard brush or anything, dipped it in the paint, dipped it in water and just added all of that on to create all those shadows. And if you screw up and add too much straight acrylic paint, you can diffuse it out by just dipping your brush in water and kind of thinning that out. The bottom of the skirt was pretty fun. I used a piece of paper as like a backing just so it was easier to paint and just went to town adding it on all of the edges.
And there you have it. We have successfully created a Sally costume together. I'm super duper happy with how it turned out and I can't wait to show you the finished look. See you in the next video guys. As always, stay spooky.